Here I go again. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether there are any words to properly express our gratitude, and I'm sure it's yours too, for these wonderful people up here. You know, this just doesn't happen with people just having to drop by. So I'm particularly grateful, of course, to Frank, who directed and produced this wonderful program that we've seen. These fine young men and women from our Naval Academy who have come to us. But all the time this was going on, I was sitting over thinking how many times we have seen this, certainly I have seen it over the years past, people up here on a platform giving away the only thing they have to sell. And I can remember sometimes being up here on the same kind of occasions where the remuneration was the same. Back in Hollywood in those days, of course, whenever they would call you and ask you to appear a benefit, that's where the performers perform free. I would always try to say, as so many others like me, if you don't sing or dance, you know, I'd say, well, what can I do? And they'd say, you can introduce someone else. <laughs> I remember once when there were seven of us lined up to introduce Nelson Eddy singing Shortman Bread. These wonderful people, and they don't just, as I say, drop in. You know, this takes some doing and putting together and rehearsing and also finding out that uh, two or three of you aren't going to do the same number and working out a real program. And they're doing it all because it's something they just believe is worthwhile and that it's their obligation that they should do this. And how many times it's for a very worthwhile, charitable cause and always uh, their answer is yes when they're asked. And I sat up there thinking back how many times and how many memories I have of people at particularly special events. I remember one going back to World War II. President Roosevelt thought in that first war of, year of the war that I Am an American Day should be celebrated with ceremony all over the country. And so people like these and maybe some of these were there one place, the biggest celebration, I guess, throughout the country was at Soldier's Field in Chicago, the great stadium there with 120,000 people. It was five below in Chicago today. <laughs> I hope those Chicagoans who clapped are glad they're here. <laughs> but anyway, on, on that occasion, the, I'll never forget the tiny figure of Helen Hayes introduced and down on the floor of that stadium. And 120,000 people with a silence you most could hear. As she did not sing, but she recited the words of something that all of us from the earliest days in school have learned to sing. My country tis of thee. And I think everyone believed that day and 120,000 people thought they were really hearing the words for the first time. When that little figure, as I say, raised her voice and said, my country, tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. Just something about all these people around us here tonight that there's no way to describe it. Like so many Americans, 
whenever they're asked, they're here. And God bless you all for a very wonderful evening for all of us. Thank you all.